This is my ultimate Bluetooth speaker. If you're in the market for a gift idea, or if you simply want to see what is the best budget Bluetooth speaker you can buy, this is the video you don't want to miss. Here I have 15 Bluetooth speakers range anywhere from $38 to $150. All these speakers are available on Amazon and I have the links down in the description below. By the way, my name is Sean. This is my tech channel where I do unboxing, reviews, and tutorials of different tech products. So if you think you like content like this, you may want to subscribe. And when you hit the bell notification, make sure to change that to all so you won't miss my future videos. We're going to dive right in, but first, please let me get just a few points out of the way and we're going to get right into it. Number one, it takes a really long time to try to put these video together. So if you do want to support me, please remember to like and comment for the YouTube algorithm so more people can see this video. Number two, this video most likely will be on the longer side of my video. So I will make sure I'll put a timeline down in the description below so you guys can click back and forth and watch whatever you want to watch. Number three, the prices I'm referencing is at the time I'm recording this video with the available coupon. So by the time you're watching it or if you're in a different region, the availability and prices may vary. And the last point is picking the best speaker is extremely subjective because each of these speakers, uh, for the most part, they have their own pros and cons. And depending on who you are, you may have a different priority of options and features that are important to you. For example, somebody may care about form factor and would never want to buy something like this. Somebody may care about being uh, having a speaker that is fully water resistant and can submerge or even float in the water and someone else may care about the loudness of the speaker. If you think I'm going to ultimately recommend one speaker, this is not the video for you. My goal is to share all the pros and cons of these speakers. Uh, there are a handful that I will recommend that you should not buy. But outside of that, there are several good options at different price points that you can and should consider. So we're going to go ahead and start with the cheapest speaker and then we're going to work our way up. And as I'm talking about each of these speakers, I'll put some facts about the speakers on the screen and I'm going to highlight that particular speaker so you guys can follow along. Feel free to pause at any moment to try to read some of the information about these speakers. I will have several sample audios uh, as I'm talking about each of the speakers. Also, at the end, I'm going to put all the sample audios back to back so you can hear the difference between the different uh, audio quality. So we're going to start with Soundbox Pro. This is by DOS, D-O-S-S. -S. This is the cheapest of the bunch. And uh, currently, this is uh, $38. It has a 2200 milliamp battery. It's a 20 watt a speaker, which is impressive for this size. And when I measured the uh, audio level, the loudest it got at about 18 or 17 inches from uh, the speaker was about 101.5 dB. This has an IPX5 water uh, resistancy, so uh, it's definitely splash proof, but you don't want to submerge this. You can pair this with up to two speakers. Uh, it weighs about 1.4 pounds. You can put um, a card in this. It has an auxiliary port no app control, and no USB type C. Um, when you listen to the sound uh, just in a moment, you will realize that this actually packs some punch. Like I said, 20 watts is plenty for this size. So I would highly recommend this at this price point, considering some of the options that are available if you just want extra bass and things like that. Let's take a listen. Second speaker, we have this Angle 3 Ultra by Unz. This is also another extremely popular speaker on Amazon, currently sells for 40 bucks. It has the same size battery as the last speaker, 2200. It's not as strong as 14 watts, but again, it's extremely impressive for its size. The loudest it got was 100.6 at about 16 or 17 inches away from the speaker, so plenty loud 
Now this has an IPX7. Uh, so that means you can fully submerge this into water. Uh, the previous speaker is louder and gives you a little bit more bass, but if you're gonna use it outdoor and you worry that you may it may fall into, I don't know, to the pool or if you go to the beach, this may be better even though it's not as loud. Nonetheless, uh, IPX7, you can pair it with up to two of these speakers to try to get a stereo mode that is louder as well. It weighs just under one pound. Uh, you cannot put a TF card in this, but you do have an auxiliary port. Uh, it does offer an app control and it has USB-C. So some pluses, but when it comes to the audio loudness and uh, overall bass uh, loudness, uh, not as loud as the previous speaker. Let's take a listen. Third on the list is this speaker called Stormbox Micro by Tribit. I have been recommending this speaker as one of the best speakers you can buy under $50, but after testing the Soundbox, Soundbox Pro, um, I do want to recommend that this does not get as loud as the first speaker that we looked at, but it's about the form factor. Number one, this is IP67, so it's dust resistant. Um, and then it's also water resistant. And so you, this can fully submerge and it's still not gonna damage. It does offer USB-C charging, but it does not have any auxiliary ports, TF card, and it weighs 0.64 pounds, but you can pair it with up to two devices and it gets up to 99 dB. So definitely not as loud as the first two, but if you're looking for the smallest and loudest, this would be what I would recommend. So this is one of those things that the form factor may influence your decision. Let's take a listen to the audio quality. All right, fourth in the list, we start having some uh, big boys being introduced to the game. This is F5GO by DB Source. Uh, this is currently 63 bucks. It has a 10,000 milliamp battery. It's a 40 watt speaker. Uh, IPX7, so you can fully submerge this and it will survive. You can pair it with up to two devices, a little over four pounds, no TF card, but it has an aux port, no, no app control, but it uses USB type C. The loudest this thing got was 104.4 dB. So let's take a listen to the audio quality, see what you think. Next in the list, we are introducing the big brother right here. This is uh, Motor Boom by DB Source. This is only $7 more, uh, so it's 70 bucks right now. I was not able to find the battery size, but based on uh, its weight, I would suspect it is at least 10 or maybe even 12,000 milliamp battery. This is a 50 watt speaker. It gets up to 105.6 dB at about uh, 16 or 17 inches from the speaker. The downside is this is an IPX5, <clears throat> excuse me, so you cannot submerge this into water, so you gotta keep that in mind. But a cool feature is you can not only can pair this with other uh, motor boom speakers, but you can connect up to 100 of them. 
no TF card, it does have an aux port, uh, no app control, and uses USB type C. So let's take a listen to the audio quality, see what you think. We are 33% done. This is number six. This is D2 by Devoom. Uh, Devoom is known for their pixel art speakers. So uh, this is a little bit of a unique selection in this mix. However, it is a very unique Bluetooth speaker that has not only high quality audio, but very interesting uh, other features that you can get from the speaker as well. You can set up animations, you can set up uh, different alerts that you can have come on on the screen. There are uh, games you can play. Uh, the keyboard is mechanical, clicky keyboard, RGB back, uh, backlit. This is 85 bucks at this time, it's 10 watts. And the loudest it got at the same distance was only 92.4 uh, dB. It is not waterproof. You cannot pair it with other speakers. It weighs about 1.1 pounds. Uh, it does take TF card, no aux port, but it has a very intuitive app control and it uses USB-C. All right, this is number seven. This is S67 by Zlot. This thing is a big boy. It's a 75 watt speaker, price $88. It has a 14 point, uh, 14,400 milliamp um, battery. It weighs 4.35 pounds. This is the loudest by far in the group and it is noticeably louder this got to 108.5 db at about the same distance and it offers uh, uh, a usb-c charging uh, no app control but it has a tf card slot as well as aux port uh, it offers uh, an eq button on this which i think it's this is the only one if i'm not mistaken maybe there was one more speaker but it has an EQ button on um, the speaker itself, so it can go through different modes, like live mode, um, you know, uh, heavy bass and things like that. Uh, you can pair this with uh, up to two devices for true wireless uh, stereo speaker. This is IPX6, so not as good as seven, obviously, but if momentarily you drop it in the water, you take it out really fast, you should be fine. Let's take a listen, see what you guys think. So we are crossing the $100 mark and we are starting with this big boy right here. This is what is this? Uh, T9 by W King. If you look up their speakers on Amazon, they're very well known and they sell a lot of high quality speakers. This is the T9, has a 12,000 milliamp battery, 80 watts. So by power, this is um, the uh, the strongest of the bunch right here. 
it produced 106.6 db it is not waterproof i think it's because of the base port this massive base port you have here and then once this thing is thumping you can feel the air coming out of the back as well you can pair this with up to two of these uh units it weighs 8.1 pounds this is the heaviest of the bunch it has these cool um, light effects that you can turn off it uses usb-c charging no app control but it does have an aux port and a slot for a tf card this is the largest of the group and as a result it produces the cleanest base uh i think and the audio it's definitely room filling so for example when a few weeks ago i went out to the park um just for for a picnic to hang out with some friends uh, this was the speaker I took out and even in outdoor environments This produces really loud and high quality. So it's crisp. It's clear and the bass is loud enough So but it's not water resistant. So you just gotta be mindful of that. Let's take a listen to the audio quality Number nine, this is X10, also by W King. This is an impressive 70 watt speaker, IPX6. So it is water resistant, but you cannot fully submerge it and hold it for 30 minutes underwater. You can pair it with up to two of these. It weighs a little over six and a half pounds, so you can definitely feel the weight. Um, aux port, TF card slot, no app control, and it uses USB C for charging. And the loudest this thing got was 103.6 dB. So definitely fills the room. Uh, I have also used this outdoors as well. So as you may even see some of uh, the wear on this thing. Let's take a listen. So what do you guys think? Number 10, this is Tribit Stormbox Pro. So if form factor is important to you, water resistance, something like this may be a good deal. So this is $108. This, it has a 10,000 milliamp battery, which by the way, most of these, that they have larger um, batteries inside, you can also use them as power banks as well. 10,000 milliamp battery, it's a 40 watt speaker. The loudest it got, it's 101 dB. One cool, unique feature of this is it has, I think, speakers on both sides. So it kind of help uh, if you're outdoor or in your backyard, if you set this on the table, everyone around will get to enjoy uh, the sound. This is IP67, and there are not that many that were IP67. This was one of them. You can pair with up to two of these speakers, weighs about 2.1 pounds, uh, no aux port, no... Um, TF card, no app control, but it uses USB type C. Uh, let's take a listen to the audio quality, see what you think. The last five, this is number 11. This is Soundcore by Anchor, $110, 10,000 milliamp battery. Um, uh, strangely enough for this size, this is only a 30 watt speaker. The loudest it got was 104 dB. It's um, IPX7, so it's water resistant. You can fully submerge this, that's definitely a plus. Weighs about three, four, point, four pounds. 
No TF card or AUX board, but it does have an app control and uses USB-C and you can pair this with two of these. Uh, you have the two big drivers on the side. And um, honestly, I thought I was gonna be a little bit more impressed by the speaker, especially with how many people are buying this on Amazon. I was a little bit uh, underwhelmed with this, with the overall loudness, sound quality, and built design. Not a big fan of this shiny plastic they use. This looks like uh, cheaply made, to be honest with you. Uh, this may be the first of the list that for its price, I may not recommend unless you're a huge fan of some of the features that their app may offer or you just like the brand. So honestly, this was where I was gonna stop the video, but I did not want to hear the comments. How about Bose? How about JBL? How about um, uh, Ultimate Ears? How about Sony? And so I went ahead and bought just one of each in that price range, one of the most popular one for the most part, so I can compare and see what you guys um, think. So next one is Bose Soundlink. This is 130 bucks. I was extremely disappointed that there is nowhere online, in the box, under product, under website, you can find the battery size or how strong or powerful the speakers are. So those are unknown, but I can tell you that you can pair with up to two of these devices, no TF card, it does offer uh, app control and aux port. And uh, strangely enough, it uses micro USB. Uh, for charging instead of USB type C. And the audio for the price especially was extremely underwhelming. So here is for all the JBL fans out there. This is JBL Charge 3, 130 bucks, 6,000 milliamp battery, only a 20 watt speaker. Uh, it only got to 100.3 dB. It is IPX7. This actually floats underwater, which I think is really cool. So the size is really cool. The fact that it floats is really cool. Uh, you can pair this with up to actually unlimited number of speakers. 1.3 pounds almost. Uh, AUX port, no TF card. It does have, uh, let's see, I'm sorry, no app control and unfortunately uses micro USB. So sorry, not a big fan of what JBL has done. I think you pay for the brand and there are way better speakers that I've already reviewed at fraction of the cost of this, but here's the audio quality. Take a listen, let me know what you think. And the final two, let's start with UE Boom 3. Uh, you can pair these with up to 150 of these IP67. Uh, again, I could not find anything about the battery size. I could not find anything about how strong the speakers are. No TF card, no aux port. It does offer an app control. And unfortunately, it uses micro USB as well. No USB Type-C charging. Uh, the audio got as loud as 100.3 dB, just like the JBL, but uh, let's take a listen, see what you think.
And finally, the Sony SRX XB33. What is it with Sony and these names they have? So again, I could not find anything about battery information, anything about how strong the drivers are. Uh, the best guess uh, I could find was um, only 16 watts, so two 8 watt, uh, 8 watt driver. It only got up to 101.4 dB. Extremely underwhelming, especially for the price of 150 bucks. You do get these cool kind of like light effects. You can pair these with up to 100 uh, of these Sony speakers. No TF card, no aux port, but it does have app control and uh, it offers USB type C charging. Let's take a listen and see what you think. I know I said I'm not gonna give you my opinion and tell you which one is the best speaker, but I want to kind of like bring all this together because this is a lot of information, right? Uh, so let's start with this. As much as I hate doing this, there are just a few speakers in this list that I would just flat out do not recommend, especially for the price. So anything past number 11, which was the Anchor speaker, uh, which was at $110, I would not recommend. So Anchor, Bose, JBL, uh, UE, and Sony, those five for the price, I do not recommend. They're extremely underwhelming when it comes to the sound quality, the bass uh, quality, uh, how loud it gets and uh, the battery size and it's just overall build quality extremely underwhelming so if you want to look at this form factor about this size out of these three speakers uh, JBL definitely is um, is out of the race for me it comes down to Tribit uh, Stormbox Pro and the UE they have there's some subtle differences between the two the UE uh, I know I just said I wouldn't recommend this, but uh, the audio is a little bit crispier, but it's lacking some bass. But this gives you a little bit better bass, but the audio may not be as crisp as this one. Obviously, this big boy is in its league of its own. If size is, is not a concern and you just want a loud, nice speaker with giant battery size, what was this thing? Uh, this had a uh, 15,000 milliamp battery. So this will do the trick if you just want it when you go outside, when you go to the park or for your backyard and things like that. So nothing's gonna top this when it comes to overall loudness and bass that you can get from your speaker. So this is the league of on its own. So this is in its own class, obviously. So when it comes to loudness, it does not compete with these three speakers. So. Uh, we're gonna set that aside, but out of these three speakers, um, the DOS, the UNS, and Tribit, if you want the smallest form factor, even though this does not give you the base you can get from these two speakers, I still do recommend this. However, overall, for the size, the volume, and the base you get, I probably would recommend this speaker over all the other one. And then we get and then we get to this form factor. Um, we already talked about Anchor, extremely underwhelming, and I'm not even sure why anyone would pay that much for that speaker. So these two, at, th at their price point, uh, this is $63, this is $70. They both got over 104 and 105 dB. Extremely loud. If you want a little bit more bass, uh, you can go with this one. You just need to keep in mind the water resistance. This is... You can fully submerge this speakers, but this one you cannot. I do recommend both of them. So if you don't have to have IPX7 speaker, I would recommend pay a little bit more and go with this one because it's much louder and they give you a lot more cleaner and deeper bass. Okay, the last two speakers, which I really had a tough time to try to 
understand which one I like better, where the Zealot, which is uh, 88 bucks, and the W King Extend, which is 105 bucks. Um, 75 watt, 70 watt. So obviously this was the loudest from the group. It does have an EQ button on it. Uh, the bass was, uh, was very enjoyable to listen to. And the movement of the drivers on the side is a little bit mesmerizing to look at, to be honest with you. That was pretty cool. Um, but there's something about the sound quality of the W King that I like a little bit better. The voices and the highs seem a little bit more high five and crispier, but you're paying more for the speaker. So if you want to stay under a hundred bucks, I do recommend Zlot. But if you don't mind going a little bit over and pay about 20 bucks more or so, um, this would also be a great option, but can I choose between the two? I can't, it's subjective. So take a look at the links down in the description below, read more about them, see which one you like. And this concludes the ultimate Bluetooth speaker test. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, takes a long time to try to put these videos together. So if you have not had a chance to like this video, please do so. If you think someone may enjoy uh, or to benefit from watching this video, definitely share the video with them. And uh, this could be a good gift idea uh, around holiday season. Uh, we all can have one more Bluetooth speakers in our life. So thank you so much for watching. If you got any questions for me, drop it down below. Thank you for all your support and continue to watch my videos. I'll see you in the next one.